Here we go again. That's not the fun. I should do a smart thing for once. I do this. And then I do this. No, because it didn't save. So now if I do this, are we good? Oh, but okay. There are downsides, but I'll run with this for the day. At the very least. Oh, wait. <laughs> Will that work? Uh. Let's let's just do the classic. Did not work quite the way I wanted it to, unfortunate. Skullgirls Get Great is happening in 30 minutes, and right now we've got Yield Audio Check going on, which is actually kind of important because I have a new mic, so please yell at me if balance is off, because I need help. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, it is actually picking up my mic at least. had to make sure that was going. <laughs> I 
to be already. Do we have a friend? Because I am currently still taking a break from playing the game. I am just a simple spectator and teacher. You are very dead. This also costs a whole hell of a lot of meter. Are we still rocking six heavy punch assist? Yes, we are. The funny. Hey, selfish. And I will reiterate this is the audio and video check portion. While we're getting set up, or getting ready, waiting for the actual stream. And I have a new mic, so please yell at me if things need to get rebalanced. Oh, we're mashing 360. Bonk. We're still in install. No confirm. Bonk. Go. New Mike, new me. Y'all no longer have to deal with me exploding the audio because I accidentally laughed too hard into my. It's been a long time coming and the mic finally exploded, so it gave me a reason to replace it. So I was kind of holding off until I was going to move, because I still don't know where I'm going to find work, but... They forced my hand. Well, that's not going to combo, friend. We didn't get our medium punch. Oh my god, that pillar. No, the lock and load. Oh, we caught him up. Oh, no. <laughs> what if my Bella raw tagged you her Bella? That's not a punch. Come on. I got those. I believe. Concho, 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 concho. Oh my god. Bella mirrors. This wins, right? I don't even think we had to DHC. Or counter super, whatever. Go. 
Good night. I respect. Do we get to confirm? We might. I think the assist was in the wrong spot. Oh, I hate that she gets to do that out of glide. I always forget about that too. Still gonna be one more touch needed to kill the character. Oh, we backed off full screen. Letting the parasol out of the corner is dangerous, and he got hit. Hopeless. Oh no, bike guy. Oh, we didn't believe. Hey yo. Dead. We're doing this just to kill and get out immediately, aren't we? Yep. Medium counter hit. On incoming. What were you pressing? Robo hit was not your turn. Bonk. Watch your dome. Robo's finally in control of the game with a lot of meter. But they've got a lot of damage to do, and this character we're kind of struggles. Oh, we caught him. Are you dash blocking? You're dash blocking. Oh. Very smart. Alice Bella's got three less meter to play with. Actually really hurts her. Oh my god, we got hit by him. that DP. Press a, press a button there, but I guess you didn't have much else of a choice. You block that you died a chip. Very rude. It's your turn. Oh, we got my phone. You could have pillared that. That was Eric Gregor. Oh, we did. She's small. Bonk. Install. And murder. No punish. The toes didn't go far enough. 6 HP comes and saves the day. One more touch, but we get solid. We press some. Do you see out? What's this Beale gonna do? She's got the corner and no bar. Very, very ambitious. Thank you. 
This isn't gonna kill, this deals no damage. <laughs> This guy stinks. Oh, what in... <laughs> no. Wait. I... This is some clown... ...gaming. Oh, right. The, the robot changes are actually probably really messing uh, Furvin up. Because it messes with Bella on hit. You can't do the same routes anymore. I, can, I don't know why I completely forgot about that. That's probably why the earlier stuff missed. That makes so much more sense now. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. No. Oh, right. You can kill her. I went, you're not launching her away from you. Panic. Oh wow. Very brave round start. Oh, you didn't need to push block up. I think you can cancel that. And that's your turn. Delayed too much. JLP, so nice. You did it, Tux. Um, all but that one. That's Benz. Like, you could have done it there. Hello, Tay. Oh, that's a punch. Actually, no, it might not be. I'm silly. You were forced to block the Gregor. I might be a liar. Hey, welcome y'all. We got 10 minutes before the show gets on the road. But we are still in the audio and video. Um. I could ask, uh. Hydra said he was available. I can ask him. Yeah. I think. If I remember last I checked, he might be the only one signed up. Uh, but. Check right now before we miss anything. Definitely ping Hydra. Yes, if he's still willing. Oh no. Oh, 
no pillar. No. Yeah, no. Um, definitely try and make it happen. Yada yada yada. I need to go check the sheet again because I'm brain dead and immediately forgot. I can indeed, Tay. I can also shoot this bot. Um. Stream. Minor interruption. I have a couple more games for the event starts. Okay. Oh, great following for Flagman. Oh, but we didn't get the dash. This doesn't work, right? Yeah. Killer assist continuously, but it didn't work. Touch your toes. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Technically, calls an assist twice in the same combo. It's kind of cute. Oh man, we sent it all with that. Full combo until level 3, level 3. Or do it. Without undesi- oh, we didn't get the tab. Pillar, yep. And again, while we are... 5-ish minutes away from getting the actual show on the road, this is still the audio and video test. Please yell at me if something's off, something's not working right, if the balance is scuffed. My audio is likely going to be scuffed because I just got a new mic, so if you have any concerns, please let me know. I'm trying to make this work as best I can. I can only really do that with y'all's feedback. Oh, 
Oh no! Demo! None of that was real. Good job. I, re I really like that job. That job barely caught. Oh, we did the wrong toss. H toss doesn't work like that. You have to delay it a little bit. Otherwise, you get that weird thing. And I don't think you were going for that. That's a different mix. Oh, we're getting mixed. Wait, we could have killed. We didn't cash out. We're so greedy. And now we pay the price. Oh my god, why'd they reset? Renny, please. DHC. Or just brought tag to Bella. We tagged to Para. Interesting. Are we blocking? Nice. Dead. Oh, we could have gone into. What's it called? Stinger and converted there, right? That wasn't a punish, you just did flop, friend. Oh! Nice. Oh no, too early! The Contra betrayed you. Oh, we pressed. This isn't a good look, you're dead to this route. And then you're playing incoming with Robo. Oh, we know! Of course you know, you're a Bella player. Oh my god, that reach. Get out, get out and run. Get out and run. <laughs> run like your life depends on <laughs> Oh my god, that Earth Lift. Are you serious? We're back in the corner. Gotta get out. Bella can't run people down. Oh no, punish! Wait, is this dead? Oh, we drop! No punish! Confirm? We don't drop these, right? Yeah, let's go! Robbery. Alright. It is now a 7. So... Appreciate y'all too for the games. It's a very fun watch. But we gotta get everything else on the road. I do believe that it'll just be me for now, so... Make a small little lobby. Not quite your time, Wonderland. We'll get to you. I'm glad you're ready to go, though. Did Ruby want to help today? I thought Ruby was busy. Up first, we have the first names listed. So, Castro versus Hunter. We're, we're just going to be going down. That's always an order. So... It's not all that hard to uh, fix the lobby if Ruby does show up. Actually, I'll just pop into the VC just to make sure. Hello, Renny. Uh, hmm. You forgot to sign up for today. Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, friend. 
be much easier to slot you in if there was an open bracket, but yeah. All right, today. Time zones, no. Oh, heck. Yep, that bubble, you need to respect the basic controls. Same with Beam, honestly. A little bit of spaghetti in the neutral. Yep, you cannot contest slide. It is not your turn. Oh, you tried to air throw a little too early. We need to recognize that this is duo, so we will be doing a lot less damage than we're used to. Oh, we are. Okay, yep. Yeah, we needed to manage our hunger really badly. But we didn't do it safely. JP is not no Ruby. Slightly mistimed the crescent, but that's fine. Oh, the air dash. No drops in the shot. Oh my, we salvaged that. One thing I was going to say is if, especially because Annie is whack to combo, if you're worried about dropping and you don't need a full combo to kill, just do one, two, three, ender into meter dump, and if it kills, it's to end the game. There's no reason to risk dropping. However, if you're doing it to practice the route, because these are for practice, completely understandable. Just a way to simplify the game for you. Uh, it's up to you, Ruby. It's up to you. I am solid running it on my own, but... Sing. Okay. And confirm. Okay, we do have routes. Counter hit. Yep, we're doing the odd very setup. You know. I like it. That's the second time you've kind of not quite gotten your Oki right off of the setup. Because Squiggly is so small, you need to recognize that that will not hit. And so you need to up forward. Up forward and that button is a gross way to do anything. Are we managing our hunger? Kind of. Okay. I need to keep an eye on that. Oh, uh, we messed up with hunger slightly. We're mashing. Contesting. Okay. That was a little freeze. That was scary. So, how do we get hit after level 3? 
Because you can block immediately after it. Force him to block it. It's your turn. Good push block. Really well done. Push block. We need to get Robo out of here. Oh. So, for reference, Castro, normals do not chip on block, but specials will. Yeah, a super like that would have also killed. Um, and so if you force someone to block a normal, and they're within chip range for death, I would highly recommend just going into L Crescent. It's really hard for anyone to do anything about that versus Annie. Annie kind of just forces them to block something and goes immediately into bonk. Oh no, Hunter. <laughs> I'll keep that quiet. Okay. So, try and focus a little bit more on hunger and how this quickly is playing neutral around. Up forward air throw. Pretty aggressive option. Kind of works. Squiggly has bot space with normals and neutral. But you have to respect the slide. The slide is plus four, I think. Hold this OP. Yep, you cannot tech there. You have to hold that. That missed, wow. Castro, I can't tell if we kind of just keep accidentally um, getting a full special when we're trying to stancel. Might need a little bit of practice on that. Yeah, my mic sounds very different. Or, er, I did get a new mic. Yep, that doesn't work. Uh, your SBO does get reflected. Also, because I got a new bike, please let me know if anything audio-wise needs rebalancing. I tried to get it nice, but... Yep. Yeah. Umbrella can 100% just stand heavy punch SBO and knock it off the screen. All of her reflections work like that. So it's... You need to be really careful when using it as quickly. You have to force them to block it, otherwise they're probably just yeeting it off the screen. Oh, we tried to punish him. I respect the effort. You saw it missing. Okay. We definitely got caught hunger a little bit towards the end there. I got lucky it didn't end up getting punished. I would not recommend doing that as a round start. Especially because Castro's shown that they're going to jump at round start. That is a lot. And now you're also in... I forget what this mode is called, but not exactly what you want to be. We already used that button. Yep, IPS. Oh, that's, you can punish that. Good confirm. Oh no, the jab whiffed. That's wild. Okay, so Castro, when you have an option to tech, if you're in the corner, I'd highly recommend either not teching at all, or making the effort to tech out of the corner. Because you teched into the corner, and if you don't know, teching gets rid of half of the undizzy bar. So you end up losing- you, you spend 120 undizzy to keep yourself in an awful situation. 
not teching doesn't cost anything. And it also sometimes messes people up because they're so used to everyone auto teching. Teching out of the corner obviously is important because it gets you out of the corner. We're in. Okay. And other than that, um, it's worth it for the Indizy because you're trying to make an effort to fight your way out of the corner. But we're in. What do we do with our hit? We're cashing out and killing, right? Nice. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my god, we got lost there. One touch game? Should be dead. Oh, we burst. We have a... Oh no, we don't have a punch. Snapper. Snapper. So, squiggly level 3 only goes away if you snapper. And especially because she was the last character, it, uh, she wouldn't have gotten actually snapped out. I can't... Oh man. I can't remember if you get wall bounce there or not. But, yeah. You, you have to snap her there if you want to get rid of the level 3. I, yeah, I can't remember in 3v3 in that situation if you get the wall bounce or not. Either way, I think you could have followed it up with a super after you snapped to kill. But, man, I really should know this. I cannot remember for my life now. No, you don't get an incoming. It doesn't snap them out. I swear it doesn't snap them out. Yeah, Bayo is different. Bayo can get incoming on a solo. You get wall bounce? Okay. That reach. Are we gonna do the setup again? Going to throw. Okay, let's manage our hunger, try and get into. I was gonna say try and get into satiated, but we opted to get further. Or er, try and get into ravenous, but we opted to get further into satiated. Yeah, you're in the corner, it doesn't quite break nicely. Good. Really good job contesting it. Hold that, good push block, got air thrown. Should be dead. Yeah. We, yeah. We took too much of the corner, and so that let them come in from mid screen, which is not what we want. Oh! Good jump. Yep, and again, we didn't manage our hunger, and now we're really suffering for it. You're dead. Punish? Oh no! Any grounded button. Feeling pretty quick there. Got a little antsy, it looks like. Good punish on the left side kick, though. Mix? Not sure if intention. the zoning is a bit hard. There you go. Nice. And the heavy counter hit. So one thing I was going to say versus Robo is knowing that she can't shoot anything above her. If you're trying to close space, we can snap. Again, same scenario. It's an uh, unfortunate knowledge check, but you can snap to get rid of the squiggly level 3. But yeah, so uh, to end the point about Robo zoning, for Robo, uh, none of her lasers go up, so she tries to get above you and then either shoot horizontally or shoot down. But um, she cannot shoot above her, so one. Pretty useful tool to at least full screen just kind of ignore that part of the game for Robo is super jump. 
If you can get above the height where she can do much, that either forces her to just try and play the runaway game and run under you, which you can then try and catch her going under you, etc. Or go up in the space you're already in and try and get above you with super jump helicopter, etc. But then you can try and contest with an air to air, so on and so forth. Other than that, it is kind of just the patience game of guessing right and slowly inching your way in. Dash blocking is another phenomenal way to deal with robo zoning. Just slowly but repetitively make sure you're keeping yourself safe while shutting off distance because that's how you're going to deal with a robo. Other than that, so for... I would not recommend... Okay, so... Push blocking puts you in a whole lot more block stun, or it effectively puts you in more block stun, because beams have a little bit of block stun, but push block locks you up for 25 frames. The only time I would recommend push blocking projectiles is if you are trying to force them into the corner and feel like you can lock them down in there. So if you're trying to control the space they're in, I would push block, and this goes for P, goes for Parasol, etc. All of these characters that kind of have projectiles as part of their game plan, you are locking yourself out for longer to uh, try and control the space there. If you just want to run at them as fast as possible, do not push block. Uh, because you will recover quicker. Yeah, and then so trying to wrap up my thoughts for that set. Hunter, I understand your um, stick is acting up. It's unfortunate. So hopefully, as you said, uh, a lot of the hunger management was just stuff not coming out. Other than that, I really did like the Oki setups. I don't know if um, your follow-ups to the Oki were messed up because of your stick as well. If so, understandable. If not, just know your character's a little bit smaller. Oh, I will actually make a larger lobby for you, Ruby. Yep. Oh, but yeah, we need to make a larger lobby. Was this hurt you right now? Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot. <laughs> yeah, I thought JP was going to be with you. I was like, that's why I was like, oh, JP put, put up the message and everything. I'm like, oh, okay, so I guess, uh, I guess they don't need commentators today. <laughs> yeah. Because JP usually d makes a ping. <laughs> Other than that, um, for. For Robo for zoning, I, I liked a good bit of what I saw. One thing I would definitely recommend is, especially once they start getting closer, you can add in jump heavy punch to your zoning pattern because it is it is another projectile and it is special cancelable. So you throw out something that chokes out the space right underneath you, and then you can also L beam to cut off that same space. Or if you see they're approaching above the jump heavy punch, you can M beam, etc. So it adds another bit of garbage for people to try and work their way through. And you also don't even have to project out a special after at all, although the recovery is comparable to if you do, so I'd recommend getting used to special cancelling it. Um, it also stalls your air moment a little bit. It's just something to start play with. Another tool to add to your zoning repertoire. I don't think we necessarily got to see um... Those are the main things I noticed, just off the top of my head. Other than that, for uh, brain, please. <laughs> okay, you know what? It, it it just happened like a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Tay might need time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, and so for yeah, so for Castro. I, you, you looked like you understood a lot of things that were going on, but then you had random squiggly inputs, and so I don't know if your controller was acting up. Um, or what, but if not, I would definitely recommend, I mean, honestly, it's just playing more, getting used to stanceling, getting used to getting charges, getting used to not accidentally releasing them, or accidentally getting DP instead. Not getting any huggies. Yeah, I wonder it, if Squiggly has anything like that to get huggies. 
I mean, I've definitely accidentally gotten DP rather than quarter circle on accident. Just a yeah, okay. Waiting for Tay and Soup then. Uh, Tay asked to go a little later, and Wonderland says it works better for them right now. So, yeah, we're gonna swap it up a little bit. We'll get Wonderland and Sorigan in here. But to finish to finish up on Castro, um, and that, that's just a little bit more playing the game. It looks like you had an idea of when you wanted to sing SBO punish. Uh, you just weren't quite quick enough with some of them. And then again, also recognizing that Umbrella can reflect your SBO. It's really obnoxious to get used to, but... Yeah, it, it feels like just kind of getting used to it. You also... You, you, I mean, you struggled a little bit in neutral, but that's because you're running a not a full screen control assist versus beam that it's going to happen um but knowing that you kind of want to get your charge and then choke down space because you're not doing much from full screen unless they decide to just kind of press buttons which versus zombie they have to at some point to manage hunger other than that the other characters can kind of just sit there and wait um and then i i would say focus on one, I mean, just getting used to inputs, like you said, you need to work on that a little bit. And two, how you use your assists, because they're really short range assists that you kind of call that mid screen and full screen sometimes. And so just think about, will this assist hit slash what will this assist get me if I call it here? And just try and actively think about when you're calling an assist so you build up good habits. So you start calling them just habitually in much better spots. But, but those are, or that is what I would say to work on. And I need to pee and swear again. Oh, Swergen is here. No Swergen's Parasol, so... I know yeah. you, you definitely got the coverage on that. And, uh... What is. Yeah. Wonderland is... Have it right here, I think. Let's see. Big Band Squiggly. I see. Big Band Squiggly. Oh, Hey, where are the Bale players at so that way I can yell Bale's at Bale's boring. <laughs> I'm, I'm, dude, that's what I'm saying. Nobody wants to pick this. They they know. They saw him like, yeah, no, that looks like not a fun time. <laughs> See, Wonderland understands. Characters suck. Yeah. And again, this goes for everyone. Um, this is a live format and stuff goes by really quickly. So I might miss something or you might just have extra questions. If you have extra questions, please feel free to ping us in the Get Great channel and ask an outright question. And if you like have a specific timestamp you want us to look at alongside the question, just shoot that. We'll address it. I'll gladly go over any more questions you'll have. <laughs> Sign up for FOD review. Oh. <laughs> I definitely do got stuff for you, so... Oh, we got to the projectile, but it's kind of expensive. Oh, no. Uh oh so we get the happy birthday? Oh, no. I dropped off the... Fighting for a charge. Good punish. SBO, nice. Oh, oh we, we get just... to keep it in? Nice. So we I don't know. Snap, we're gonna kill. I think... Mm, we can't kill here. Oh. Yeah, mix. I would have thought maybe on this now, but. Also, A Train is definitely like the most win more assist for Squiggly. What in the? <laughs> what? <laughs> it just works. Alright! Oh, hold this. Big band, my... Oh, <gasps> baby GC get hit, that sucks. Yep. Man, so we're gonna Patient. Try to snap. Yep, that's Are illegal. Yep. Good reactions. Oh no! Oh, what? Was... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kill. <All> yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Alright, Umbi. Umbi Gaming. Actually, I don't think you get caught, right? But you get put into the situation. 
so we are, we are calling, calling yeah we're calling band a lot he's not going to do all that much for us and we're risking him just taking damage uh, and especially because we did not have meter to follow up after we sung if uh they started smacking your band so that that is just one thing to keep in mind uh because squiggly usually can just bait people into hitting their assist and saying no 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 but yeah um, you were in one of the rare scenarios where you didn't have the resources to do that because you do spend you spend sing sbo a lot granted you're catching them out you're doing it really well you just have to keep in mind playing as well, actively they... as you are is a really meter hungry play style i think the other thing as well too especially like with an assist like like the current umbi assist the uh, six what is it, six hp it can definitely stagger it can once they get the hit like it can stagger uh big man and smoke, smoke them afterwards yep Oh, oh the high low. Then the high. <laughs> Oops. God, this team does so Quickly, where are you looking? <laughs> oh, we got ourselves in the corner on accident. Nice. Oh, yep. Yep. Actually, we, we don't even need to snap final. here. Oh, chip. Oh, we couldn't chip her out. Yeah, that that's like the most obnoxious weight pairings for Swiggly to do. You hold your charges? Nice. I don't, I don't know what exactly. Oh. Wait. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> There's no way you get the snap, right? I think that was a misinput, which is kind of unfortunate. Because again, meter is valuable. But what can Swergen do with their hit? What's the mix? We are too afraid of. Ah, uh, yep. We got caught. We are really afraid of a train, and we don't need to be. I know it's like, it's definitely a cousin to Brass, and I 100% will play games versus A-Train, like I'm trying to deal with Brass, and like accidentally jump into it trying to check and block. Yep, we know. Cool. Uh, do we get the Snap immediately. Cool. Yes, there you go. But, you need to get in your mind, this is A-Train, I don't need to care about it. I'm Parasol, I have some of the best grounded buttons in the game. You, you see A-Train, you're jabbing, you're crouch heavy punching. Or not crouch heavy punching, sorry, crouch medium punch, stand heavy punch. Etc. You are contesting space because it's not actually controlling anything. You just can't shoot a projectile because it's a big body in the way. But you can just send out normals and prevent them from approaching. Because you're kind of just standing there going, oh no, I need to block this, and then nothing comes out that you're actually trying to block. Yeah, I think it's definitely just... I think it, the the main two things is... Well, if, 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 to me, I don't know if Wonderland really really plays A-Train like, th like that. Because it definitely feels like it's getting called like it's brass. It's, it's Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's getting called on repeat. And, and the other thing as well too, I think I don't know if it's also Swergen being uh, being afraid of just like okay, even if I did try to go and punish it, I, there's a there's a thing as well too, yep. ready to smoke me and just like oh, <laughs> caught you, I see you. Hi. Right. Let's see. And Swergen has also caught a double snap, or like a happy birthday combo twice, and then just end up dropping it because the weights are awkward. So, like, yeah. Wonderland is definitely getting caught. Oh, dear. We, we're we jumping a lot on the Swergen. Which kind of works with how much you're calling A-Train, but you need to keep in mind when A-Train isn't there, you are liable to get anti-air. Yep, Daisy, very nice. And otherwise... Air throws uh, for a predictable jumper are something you need to deal with, as well as anti-airs. Anti-airs are honestly really strong in this game. Oh, we didn't get it. That's unfortunate. Looks like we knew it. Yeah. I wonder if it's just because of bumpy size. Alright, you're back in here with me. Okay. This should be a dead on do I get our charges? Both our charges? Yep. Oh, wow. Go for mix. There we go. Snap. Oh, there you go. Nice. Exactly what I was talking about, about contesting the A-Train. You don't need to respect it. It's not a hitbox. Yep. I would not agree with giving that much space. Your Parasol, you can set up really dirty left-right incomings that are covered by tears. Um, Giving Squiggly a safe, like, I'm either blocking this or throwing, it's just a strike throw mix. I don't necessarily agree with. 
you know, because it's not like good really has anything on incoming anyways to yep. be afraid of. Also, what's it called? Good pillar. Oh, nice. Oh, we got the We're okay. mixing. We need one more touch, at least. Oh, we already used medium punch. Throw. Oh, Beautiful. Uh, this won't kill. Oh, yeah, there we now go. Now it should kill. <laughs> Unless. Alright, cool. We didn't drop it. Alright, it looks like we really do know our damage ranges and so know when we need to mix. Um. Mostly? Yeah, uh, especially because Parasol Squiggly is a matchup where if you let Squiggly breathe, especially if she has resources, all of a sudden your life becomes so much harder. If you're on her and just forcing her to... Uh, basically, like, she can't just chill and wait on her time to sing SBO you. Life is a lot harder for her. Yeah... Yeah, because it's like if you let if you let her go if you let her just hang out, yeah, it's just like all right, it, it, she's just waiting for the moment to sing. <laughs> and then especially, I think it's like what if she has meter? Oh, all of a sudden here's Espio. <laughs> all right, sweet. We're getting the double. We're getting to see the double this time. Yep. Fought her way out of the corner by jumping again. Oop. Counter. But we're back in there. Oh no, she's small. Oh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know how we got stun heavy much. I'm, Maybe we, I'm not gonna try to question it. We might have been getting that. DP, but we die for that. Oh, I think we're actually gonna. Oh, well, now we also see the ban as well too. Oh, it's it. Very good jump. Very good punish for the throw. All right. Reset. Oh, one low. Oh. We're frame trapping. Elbass. Oh, do you get the pickup? Nice. No, okay, we know we're going to send everything too. Yeah. Oh no! Stun. We didn't have some. We already used it. Oh! oh <laughs> we messed up the parry. Not like this. Oh, that's rude. Yeah, that reset is so mean. <gasps> oh no! Hello again. This is a band before meter. Oh, we got us an overhead. Oh, it just should be like her, Just like her oh, sister would have done. We did not need to mix again there. We had two bar with para in the back. Any reasonable amount of damage into a DS DHC rat would have killed. 100%. That one looked better. It looked, that one looked like Sorgon was more, and more control right there too. Yeah. Don't let Squiggly try to get her charges or anything. And then even when Big Bang was doing the thing, just suppressing them. Can't. <laughs> But it was it was good defense, some good defense on at least with Ban, just like, oh here's the parry, I got you, making the call out, and then unfortunately he got overhead. <laughs> oh for reference Wonderland is they though. But uh good throw. Very good throw. Go for me. Oh nice. Good jump light kick. Again with the A train calls. It's yeah, yeah, now it gets hit. Well, actually, oh. well, at least we got Umbi though. Umbi. Yeah. So no, I, I was gonna Umbi. say when it comes to you, you are actually I think doing a pretty smart job. I, I wish you would be punishing the assist more. I say as you get another happy birthday. <laughs> um, because it's squiggly, you kind of do have to use an assist to counter call because if you commit your point, you're getting murdered. Oh, uh... Hey. Yeah, oh, but with sorry. as much as they're calling this assist, I would like to see it just getting smacked every time it comes out, which it kind of is. Umbi's Umbi's yeah. putting it back. <gasps> Too far? This doesn't work. Maybe it does? That's a strike. Oh, we don't have bar. Yeah, no. That was good. Yeah, you. That was good that they got it. You need to. Just straight up block that if you don't have anything to DHC afterwards. Because Double still needs to DHC herself to make it safe. I think she was still in recovery. I don't think no, I don't think there was enough time for Wonderland to uh, block. I could be wrong. Uh, you, uh, you're right. It's shenanigans would have been happening. Ooh. Oh, we didn't get the combo, but we were pressing a button on the way down. Oh, you took her out of the corner! No. Yeah. Throwing up and we're dead. We might be dead. But this is zombie, so we might drop the combo. Unless? Prove me wrong. Alright, yeah. 
Now you're done. Yeah, okay. So... The, the, the main things that stuck out to me from Wonderland are that they... They call A-Train really aggressively, like, just on repeat, when it's not necessarily a neutral assist. It's not going to do all that much for you. It worked the couple of a couple, first couple of games, but again, like I said, once a player starts getting in their mind, this is A-Train, this isn't Brass, I don't need to respect it, they'll just keep pressing, pressing, pressing. And it even got to a point where you were calling it right before you almost got hit, and so you got happy birthday two or three times in a row. And so it just... I felt like it was coming out on cooldown. Oh, you're trying to get fast normals? Uh, if that's the case, like, if you're getting a train that consistently from miss inputs, I would highly recommend trying to slow down the pace at which you press buttons. Because that was getting you rolled, especially towards the end. Okay, if that's the issue there, I'm not going to talk about... I think you understand how assist calling works. <laughs> um, on that point, um, I don't know if you're set... Yeah, I don't know if you're set on A-Train. It is definitely, like, I hit you, I explode you, the team. But... I would consider using beat extend if you still want a combo resource or just brass if you want to control neutral if you want to stick to a train that's fine it's just beat extend does a lot of the same thing brass does for slightly less damage with the upside of being a dp assist which is the obviously more conventional or conventional conventional way to play squiggly band uh other than that your squiggly jumps a lot like a lot a lot and there comes a point where it ends up being exploitable so players who like con constantly jump to the point where you can predict what they're going to do in the airspace can get shut down by really fast grounded buttons. Anti-airs in this game, as I mentioned already, are pretty strong. And up forward air throw is a phenomenal tool to deal with players like that. And so if you're, if you're good on teching, you're a little bit better in that scenario. But you're still being that predictable, especially when Squiggly has some incredibly strong grounded buttons. Um, I would recommend mixing it up because especially if you catch someone trying to jump to contest you so if you just jab Squiggly's jab is actually reaches pretty far so if someone's trying to up forward you might be able to get them like that if they're just trying to up back a uh, two medium kick is a phenomenal button that thing reaches to the ends of the earth and just catches people uh, stun heavy punch is an alt-right spacing button that's not great but you also have the bonus of being able to stancel out of it I mean, that's true of all of her grounded buttons. They, they're such good pokes, because you can also stance a lot of them, and it's really hard to whiff punish them. Her air buttons are great. Jump light kick, you used it pretty well. I liked it a lot. It's a phenomenal button. Jump heavy punch works in situations, but you need to be aware that using it too much is exploitable, because it's not an, a true disjoint. Yeah, since her hurt box is a, a part of it, too, and... Yeah, like Dunce was mentioning, especially with Squiggly's um, a jump light kick, that's, that being one of her fastest buttons as well, too, is to try to get you out of certain situations as well, too. So that so it, it's just knowing of when and where to place them as well, too. Yep. Um, and then again, we didn't get to see the band all that much, which was kind of unfortunate. You knew you were routing. You were pretty smart on defense, and you were really patient. You didn't mash. It... And because we only got to see one game, I'm not going to say I don't think you match enough. But it was, I was starting to say I would like to see a little bit more because Big Band on defense requires you to have really good defense. But he also just has some of the best match in the game. So throwing it out, forcing people to respect it, never a bad idea until you're doing it too much. But I don't think you're in danger of that. But phenomenal sing usage you caught them like every single time you committed that resource bar a couple of sing sbos that didn't quite work um and playing conservatively also makes sense again because you use sing and meter 
so so much you are going to be meter starved so you probably aren't used to playing with all that much meter in the first place but um an autopilot happens especially because this is one of your first times on stream etc it definitely weighs on people like when i was learning the game i went through this and oh, it, it it took me so long to get over stream nerves uh, it just kind of happens and the, the really nice thing about this as well is autopiloting is not necessarily a bad thing because if we notice your autopilot habits, you can work on them not on stream, actually focus on them, work on fixing your habits, and then if you end up freaking out on stream again, hopefully your autopilot is a little bit better because you've put thought and time into fixing those habits. <laughs> being, being <laughs> Don't worry about being nervous. It, it happens. It really does. Yeah. And, you were still showing up and doing a lot of really good things for for swergen um honestly you did a lot of the adaptations i said like in the first two games throughout the set you started contesting band more because it's not brass it's not beat extent it's not putting out anything um we talked a little bit about the corner the the couple of times you got the corner your option on incoming or on oki was to neutral hop or up back and kind of give space. Not a bad, not a bad option in isolation, but if that's your only option, and I suffer, I suffer from this. Like 100 percent uh I did this all the time on cat, and I just let people get out of the corner. Doing it consistently lets people up forward or just dash out of the corner for free. And if you give them like a consistent way to fight for space. You're, you're giving people space out of the corner that's just the corner is so valuable in this game the pressure you can get in the corner is ludicrous it's really important for you to not allow people easily out of the corner so again in isolation especially if you're worried they're mashing etc neutral hop at black not awful but you need to add other things to the mental stack so i can't go oh i can just press forward and get out of here uh, the, you need to make them consider what if he's going for an overhead what if he's going for a low is he trying to bait me into mashing and so, like, once you have all of those thoughts going through their head, then you can um, start saying kind of what more their defaults are, etc. But um, seeding corner pressure was the biggest downside I saw, honestly. You, you did a pretty good job using L-Shot Assist and then following up after it. We did see a couple happy birthday combo drops. Granted, at squiggly band, so, like, that's atrociously yeah, that obnoxious. <laughs> Um, yeah, because I think there's even well, I, I'm I'm sure there's some other stuff, and I know there. Uh, pro I'm probably I can probably find something as well too, because I know there was shout out to Komodo though, uh, of like there is a happy birthday combo that you can take them from like from uh, from uh, especially when you're doing like a coast to coast like that to be able to get them back to the corner. But yeah, when especially when it's quickly banned, yeah, trying to keep them together is not exactly the most fun but i also think that the usage of, of what swerken was doing with with umbi 6 hp is really good especially against like an assist like a train because it, it it definitely keeps them it definitely puts the assist on stagger and gives you a lot of time to punish as well too and and at least i would say it also makes squiggly have to force it like oh i gotta protect my dude over here which also gives you a little bit more opportunity as well but i think uh, at least personally for me, I think it's definitely uh, it's definitely going to be more situational with that assist too. I think, uh, and maybe you can correct me on this as well too. I think uh, I, I think it's really good for double uh, for double. I'm not sh too sure how it is for parasol for mix up situations, but I think I think overall it was it was pretty good. It was I think that was, it was really good when when you were pick, picking your choices and um, converting uh, and. Once you get got the head, you did get your conversions and knowing where, where when I should reset, especially against a duo, because uh, knowing your numbers for that is it will be definitely helpful. Yeah, but it definitely felt like you understood your damage values. There was one game you had an unnecessary reset towards the end, which is always dangerous if you have a combo that can't kill end the game, unless you're like just trying to have a good time or your triv like. <laughs> It's because because this is a improvement thing. 
we're gonna always say go for the quote unquote optimal option, so on and so forth. But overall, I liked a lot of what I saw. We didn't actually get to see the Umbi play all that much. I... Yeah, because it, it it always seemed like it was more just like what double would we'll, we'll get will get things get things going or parasol. Those are those are the main two. Yeah, I just finally saw from Sorgan. P, I think that wraps up. My thoughts for that set. Uh, do it. Yeah, and again, if you'll have any further predictions, please ping us. If there's a specific timestamp, just shoot it along with the question. I'll gladly revisit it, look at it, give you an answer. JP might also, etc. All of us are willing to go back over things. Yeah, no, thank you for showing up. We're glad to see new faces around here. And, um... Swergen is definitely... A player closer towards advanced i off this set alone i don't know if i'd say i saw things that i could definitely consider advanced play but you're i don't know if i would like hard push you towards signing up for it but if you want to give the advanced promos a shot like just just shoot a sign up straight up but um we're not gonna say no <laughs> you're close enough that if you think you got it shoot your shot and if you fail we'll give you advice on what you need to improve on and can go on your way for trying a week or two again later stream nerves 100 percent. also um you can also ask in the advanced promo sign up to just not play on stream we, we we're not we're not gonna force you to play on stream if you don't want to yeah no one's putting no one's like yo you're only gonna you're gonna play and everyone's gonna watch <laughs> It's not. It's not in, uh, to that sort. So it will be like, especially for the advanced test, and one of the advanced testers like JP, uh, Hydra, or uh, what is it, Dry Yo Yo as well too. I think yep. they're included, and then they'll test you to the uh, to a first to ten, uh, determine determine from their uh, from their written notes as to what what is considered a an advanced player, and then that's when you'll get your red roll like some individuals here on the uh get great cha uh great gate channel get great server b um yeah, and to answer the question in chat for castro it, it up forward is a good defensive option especially if you expect them to get crossed up but it actually has even more yeah is ruby pretty quiet i was worried about that uh, that's on mine that's not uh again pretty quiet uh, it's it's my audio settings again i got oh, a new okay. mic i tried to fix everything if y'all have any concerns about it etc just yell at me and i will fix it <laughs> like the setup is gonna be scuffed um b I, I turned ruby up as best i could should be good to go for that um and then to continue on the up forward point up forward obviously beats cross-ups it's a good option to go for. But the, the one other major thing about up forwarding that actually applies to the whole majority, or the whole majority, the whole of the cast, is the, the way this game works is when you're in jump squat and you're blocking, like if you're holding back and you start going into jump squat, if a move comes out, it will force you into pre-block and then not let you jump. And so that's how, if you're trying to up back, a low will catch you because you'll all of a sudden stop jumping and then you're standing because you're holding up back. And so you're high blocking, you get hit low, bam. If you up forward, you're never put in pre-block. So unless someone's hitting you with a meaty low, uh, up forward will, it won't cancel the jump squat. You'll go forward, depending on the character, um, you might still get clipped in your jumping hitbox because some characters are relatively large while they're jumping still. Uh, but it is a tool to use versus low throw pressure as well, as long as it's not meaty, uh, for that exact same reason. As. And so characters who it's actually really strong against are characters like Bella, who have really strong low throw game, so on and so forth. And I know that's probably a little bit more information than you were asking, but um, jump forward and neutral jump not only deal with cross-up stuff, but deal with getting out of pre-block for non-medies uh, lows. And that was definitely probably a lot more than you were asking for. <laughs> and I apologize. I ramble. 
I mean, I mean, hey, it's, uh, more information is better than no information, right? So, I mean, eventually they, it's something that they'll have to learn. So that goes for that goes for everyone here. Tae and Soup, feel free to hop on in. Yeah, leave it to me to talk my head off enough for the point where we've gone two matches and it's been thirty minutes or fifty minutes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, listen. It's it's first of fives, and it's not. And there's only and there was only like three sets anyway. So, I mean, it's better that we give give more time to to the uh, players today, because I I doubt we're, any of us are doing advanced testing today, anyways. Uh, we might. We'll see. Unless. <laughs> so Tay Te was asking. Hydra would rather not, but Dry might be available. So we'll see. We will um. see. I, can, I, I don't think I can ever be an advanced tester. Especially especially with the character I play. That is not it. <laughs> I could, but... I need to be better first. I don't punish people with bad habits. Oh, oh, I just saw we already threw off the chair. Alright, we're, we're, in, we're in for it now. <laughs> yep. Alright, now the question is, how are we going to get in? Sweet. All right. It's no, nice why are we taking backwards? We do want our chair back. Pretty bad. Oh my god, that hit! I don't think we are getting our chair back. <laughs> All right. Let's get it started. All right. What's the combo here? Good nice. save. Jump. Good punish. Oh, it actually right. wasn't quite a punish. You have to push block the first hit of likes if you want the best chance. I think you got the second or third. Oh, I dropped it. Yeah, we need our chair. Oh, you're dead. Oh my god. Yeah, I saw the grab. Yo, pick up the chair, man. No. Hi. Yeah, right. contesting with a tear on you, if you're going to do that, I would recommend throwing. Other than that, it's really sketchy because it's yeah. going to interrupt whatever hit confirm you have anyway. Also, Andy's throws are phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I think it's like more or less like the same range as bands or something. Yep, yeah, her air throws like that, either. Calling Beam that close is a little sketch, we'll say. Oh, viewer? Again, calling Beam okay. in people's face is really scary. Uh, oh, opponent paying attention will just jab you, force you to block and hit your assist at the same time. Oh, uh, drop the combo. We are okay. doing a lot of par tags. So, Soup, I know this from watching other things as well, has been doing a good amount, especially a pain meal raw tag. And one, it's techable. Two, it's it's really not gonna catch that many people. Let me the combo last second. Okay. Oh, nice. We're above. Now the question is, how do we get ping wheel out? This is not the way, gamer. Oh, we don't. Oh, we drop. Yeah. Dead. Those are hard. Two HP would have. Two HP would have been the better a better choice there. So. While there is a beam going on, if your pillar inputs are clean, you can just pillar because you still get a charge. That yeah, wins. you still get hit by it. No, no! Ah, we didn't get the pickup. Honestly, that's really good pressure on wake up. Up four. Oh, we came at swinging. Oh, that was 40. such a good stand heavy punch. Oh, right. okay. Get the get the tier on him. While the bike was going, obviously the ideal is confirming off of it, but while they're like recovering, etc., forcing them to have a tier on them is one of Parasol's best way to deal with zoners. If they give you time to either get a toss out or just an L shot or an A shot on them, uh, use that to buy you time, because you can one, debt to call them out for calling projectile, or two, use the threat of debt to force them to move off which gives you time to then move at them as well. Um, it's really important in those chips. Yeah, I think the, I think the other thing, I don't know how comfortable Tay has been with beam, especially having beam assist like that. It's it's definitely like like when you're, I, I, at least personally, maybe, maybe you can add on to more as what this does. It's just like, yeah, that's your time to try to start getting in, work your way in and start pressuring them as well too. Put them in the situation see if they duck it or they try to jump it and it's like oh okay yep see how they respond answer also especially because 
you're also using with Parasol or Annie. You can use it as time to set up projectiles, just keep zoning by yourself more time. Really aggressive round start in the first down party. Yeah, and we try to anti air too. Oh, oh burst bait? Uh, you can actually still punish there with jumping again kick. It's a little bit more optimization, just for you to know. Same follow up jump heavy punch into ground works. Not quite getting eight shot. We are okay. Oh, oh the jet was a little late. Oh, I caught the back dash. Oh, this should be a dead bail. Is what I would say. All right, American, don't worry about it. Oh no. Oh, we're locked down. We can tech that jump heavy punch. It's hard, but it's a blue bounce if you get hit with a raw parasol jump heavy punch in the air. We don't have OTG. Do we? Oh, we don't need OTG for oh. that. I forgot about that. Push block, Save, save, save. punish. Oh, uh, light, light button there. No, we, well, Pain oh. was dead. Uh, let's see the let's see the parasol. Dive kick? Yeah. Oh, I, I was expecting a dive kick. I'll be real from here. <laughs> helm breaker. Yeah. Yeah. Because at least uh, because dive kick at least at, 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 at worst you get like what you just get out of, you just get out of the airspace. I don't think. I don't think Parasol has anything to punish it, right? Yeah, oh, and especially when Parasol combos you that high, um, there's not much she can do besides mix, so you need to know something's coming. And he doesn't have a level jump. So uh oh. Uh, oh, I wonder. We should have gotten level three immediately. Yeah. Level three immediately, or Wake might have reached both of them, but then we oh, only have level three anyway, actually. Oh, all right. Saw. <gasps> Too far. Yep. Level three. Oh, level one. Oh, oh, we got it. Okay. <laughs> really good eyes. I did not see that myself. Dash up. Oh, we already used. Oh, yeah, because we converted off of. <gasps> nope, that does not work. That does not work, yeah. You might have been able to buy it, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, for the pair of mirror. I don't know if you were trying to low profile that shot there, but for the Paramir, the only option you have to low profile is actually crouch medium kick. So if you're trying to low profile L or H shot, that is the option you go for, not sweep. Oh, is her head too too high to block under the uh, shot? Yep. Pain. It's the only way to avoid it. All right, let's see. Ah oh, yes, Remy. Float. Low profiles. The tier. Hmm. <laughs> Here he is. I mean, you're technically uh, uh, below it if you look the other way. We are definitely pressing buttons. Yep. I don't know if they're trying to do an alpha counter somewhere or... But they're definitely... Yeah, Bale's dead. Yeah, we keep throwing the chair way too immediately. That is your life saver. Oh, we extended a little too far once the combo dropped. Oh, nice challenge. Ah, oh, no conversion. Honestly, I'd probably rather you just M shot there rather than use your body to contest it. Good mix. Alright, back to Parasol. That's the mix option. Bro. We are at full and dizzy. Yeah, how do we get on? Okay, I got a lower. Oh, there we go. Nice. Are. They're dead. No DHC. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, because you could you could have done one. Yeah, p bikes into pillar. Yeah, it, it, it definitely felt like you could have capitalized a lot more on that. Right as I slump, Buster check. Oh. Yeah, when we contest it. All right. Time. We're gonna see see Bayo play. Oh, we hit Andy. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, we got friendship I cross. Yeah. All right. We got lucky that time. We keep throwing the chair! <laughs> uh, 
All right, we're losing Bale now. Only uh, I, what I will say on least for Tay as well too is like I I think Tay's doing a good job of of kind of getting like at least on the aggression side of things against Bale is just like yeah the minute that he throws his chair yeah you limit a lot of his options immediately afterwards for defense and uh, I would recommend if you're gonna use Dead in the snipe getting used to hit confirming it you do have enough time it's kind of tight but oh you're yeah, gonna do you have both oh they oh, just I any. forgot about that wow yeah um. It actually hits the eye. Wow. Yeah. But, uh, what was I going to say? You're going to kill her now. Oh, DP? Oh, no. Hit the assist. Oh, no. I think we were trying to find a way to get out. Hit, hit oh, that guy. Nice. Get oh, back it up. Oh, back in front. Heavy counter hit. Oh, no. Oh, yep. too far. Got the Magnet up. Alright, let me see. Oh, on the spins. Oh, we hit. Oh, we could have killed there. Yeah, we could have killed Annie right now with bikes. Okay, we keep on calling Pain Wheel without setting up, setting up the shot first. <laughs> Alright, B move. Alright, I think we're gonna yeah. see Carol soon. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, well. Well, that was a miss put back or get down, Mr. President. I mean, grit. Again, reiterate, dash blocking really good to try and choke out space and close off stuff. Super jump, especially because Parasol has a float as well. Super jump and getting above Robo, because she can't shoot on anything upwards. Just forces her to either run under you or try and get equal with you where you can try and air to air her. Oh, no, confirm. Spaghetti? Oh, yeah. Good punish. Yeah, we had the confirm earlier, then Bueller, and oh man. That was definitely see I, that definitely looked like there was a lot of panicking. Okay. What are the things? I'm seeing what I want to talk about next. Hello, Dre. Good confirm. They're still pressing. Yeah, they're definitely pressing, pressing. Base. Good first. Alright. Okay. Nice. That's not quite real. Oh, and we're back in. Oh, oh no. We canceled too early. Oh, I think you can punish, right? No. Oh, I don't think so. I think install works like that will install. No, I, I, well, I mean, I figured it, it just mainly because the arm didn't hit or anything, so I. Well, Robo so install I, can block immediately afterwards, but it's not punishable. Nah, I'm I pretty see. sure she's the same way. Oh, got caught. Push block. Oh, the tier. Oh, punish and put. That could have been patience. heavy counter hit. Yeah, but I would recommend at least trying oh. to medium counter hit. Heavy counter hit is better. Yeah. E even true. if you don't have a route, just starting with 2x damage on a 1000 hitting move rather than a 300 hitting move is a oh. difference of what, like 1400 damage. Oh, we try to grippy. Oh, we gotta use lightning. Oh, wow, we got hit. Alright, we take it. Okay. All right. No. Yeah. Routes. Oh no. What? The wrong tag. <laughs> Why are we tagging, gamer? Okay. Soup. We need to. Look like. I think you let go of Magnus early. Th this is gonna sound kind of rude, but we need to learn how to play defense. If if you're autopiloting into panic options such as mashing raw tag as your defensive option we are one opting into getting punished two not actually learning how to play defense in the game and the more you avoid playing defense the less comfortable it will be 
actually playing it in the future. So I would highly recommend, like, I, I would encourage you to hold that, literally. <laughs> um, try, try and work on not panicking, just saying, I can block this, and then push blocking them out and forcing your turn that way again. Or threatening a PBGC mash. Oh. Yep, can't contest the any DP. Oh. All right. We, oh, we got uh, by the draft. Oh, we got punish. Tay, we do not need to be running forward. We have 14 seconds left, and we are playing Robo v Vera. This was asking, Yo. especially calling assists in their face as well. This was asking to get happy birthday in turn. Yeah, like especially if you have Robo Annie, and with how little time you have left. You can literally just be like, all right, back it up, Bimu, Bimu, and then, yeah, come at me now. What are you going to do? <laughs> Playing lame is incredibly strong in this game. In my opinion, just approaching in this game is brutal, especially versus certain teams. Um, if you can force people to show how they want to approach you and then contest them approaching you. Yes, you are getting yelled at for not playing lame again. <laughs> you had 14 skull seconds left. <laughs> You, you, if, if if you are one happy birthday combo away from dying and calling your assist on their face, I'm I'm gonna say something. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, I would also say the other the other fact as well too. It's their last character as well, and and I don't know how how the Robo Para like matchup it really is gonna be, but it's definitely like she didn't even have any meter or anything, and you have all the options to to build the wall or and everything. If anything, Parasol is gonna has needs to more approach you than any, than she uh, than you having to approach them. So you have all the time. So they're 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 gonna have to take more of a mistake than anything else. Like right. yeah, I mean aggression is definitely a way to play, but at that point, I feel like there are certain points where you need to be able to turn it off. And say, okay, I need to chill a little bit. Yeah, um, like, yeah, it's it's definitely depending on how much how much do they are, uh, at least for me, it's definitely how much life do they have left? What's the time and and more or less what is the character <laughs> that I'm fighting against? <laughs> I, I noticed that soup, and honestly, it's like if you're worried about performance, sure, but at the same time, if you want to learn a trio but you keep reverting to the duo because of comfort, it's just going to take so much longer to learn the trio. The, the only way to get better at learning someone is to just throw them through the fire. Uh, that, that'll be my little tidbit. But on that note, as, uh, as so I almost called you Doc, the... as Ruby said a lot, you throw your chair away way too willingly, especially versus zoning matchups. You're just going to start eating so much more chip than you should. Um, yeah, because I think they're. Uh, I, I think especially for Bale and I, I'm pretty. I think I'm. I'm pretty sure they took it out already. Yeah. At least for Bale, I could be wrong. I. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Is that yeah? Th because it, because I. I think it was back then. Yeah, you took double the chip w once you took your chair out, and you take chip from everything. The minute that you t you start you lose your chair, so all normals, everything like that, you. Are going to be taking way more than you need to so chairless for 2hk sweep is a way to kind of contest parasol but he has other ways to deal with it too and i would not make it your go-to just because of how risky it is sweep can sometimes just lose to bite guy they can also up forward over it and then hit you with like a jump heavy kick etc there are ways to punish it getting yeah, used can... to using flexor movement or just can ba can Bale low profile tears? They yeah, Bale can low profile tears with two MK. So that's when he does like the whole down down, yep. and that's his only move. And timing that is gonna be a little bit of a <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. But it's definitely like yeah, it, you uh, for Bale um there's certain tears that you can for sure uh. You have to be on the lookout for so especially like if she if parasol does eight shot 
then they're, you can just arm arm through it. They're not gonna. They don't. Ha they won't have enough time for anything afterwards. Yep. Um. As well too as as Dunce was saying, you can definitely blitzer. Um. The the one. Th but you still will need to be careful, especially with blitzering, because Parasol can definitely, if they catch you blitzering, take the shot and you're ready <laughs> back down in it. But that's yep. that's assuming a they have meter as well too. But it's definitely there is a lot of there is some other more uh more better uh well quote unquote better ways to <laughs> yeah. to maneuver around it but there you have other options <laughs> and again another thing to consider is the slow and steady call assist to choke out space dash block push them into the corner just slowly choke out space force them to go oh crap i'm in the corner i need to choose an option to get out and then say i'm bayo i'm calling you out for this and then getting the hit because they had to commit to a panic option um, other than that, the, the main big thing was the raw tags. We hammered on it a lot, so not going to go too much into it. It's abusable. You'll get hit. You did get yep. hit. And in some, uh, and in, and especially in some cases, um, <laughs> and I and I know I played you not too long ago as well too. You do something like that, is say goodbye to your character immediately afterwards. <laughs> like, it's almost you, always a heavy counter hit. hit. Heavy counter ahead, and you will lose the character like in like what three, like in a two three bar scenario. So, you're you're essentially sacrificing the uh, sacrificing the character to the gods. Yeah. And then just Pretend. playing the game more, a, a little bits of things you were kind of feel looks like you were feeling a little uncomfy. So like the paramir, you were a little tentative on what to do. You didn't quite get your emmy geared out. It happens. Just getting used to things, getting used to thinking about game plans and certain matchups, how to deal with certain assists. It'll it'll happen, it'll get there. For Tay, one thing I definitely noticed, um, you do like to call assists in people's faces. It can work with DP assist. It will not work with beam, which you did a couple of times. <laughs> that is not how you use beam. Beam will get blasted for that. Um, Especially with the changes now, so she's, she'll stay even longer. So yep. you you might you, in chance and, and a lot of in a lot of some case scenarios you will get happy birthday <laughs> and and lose her. As, like especially like for those two assists, it's definitely like yeah you can use beam when you're doing your when you're setting up your zoning or even just like you can do you use your anti DP in some in some like offensive per, well in some offensive situations, but it's definitely like. Yeah, just just be work wherever you, those assist calls. I think overall the para uh, the para was looking like she's doing para things. I liked the para. Uh, there was definitely it, it looked like some parts of the zoning didn't quite feel supernatural. So, supernatural um, didn't feel <laughs> very natural. So there there was there were times where I was like. Ooh, a debt would look nice here, and then it felt like you came to that conclusion half a second to a second later, and then the debt didn't quite catch them. So there's one time you did a debt, and the bail was already too far gone, so on and so forth. And so I feel like again, just playing a little more, thinking about when you can debt, and your zoning is looking a whole lot better, especially once you can start layering your beam call behind when tears are going to be exploding or when a tear is about to hit them so you can just force them to hold stuff for even longer make them take more chip make them take more time to approach you so on and so forth you were pretty aggressive with parasol jump light punch jump heavy punch but i mean that's one of the ways to play the character i will say do not get super predictable with it or over reliant on it because it's also punishable but um it works it catches people out it's a really fast air to air the mix looked good. Some of it was mashable. I mean, that's mix. Mix in this game. <laughs> I do like you calling them out for mashing a lot. Those burst baits were good. Parasol is really easy to set up. Really good burst baits that go into Oki. If you don't know a safe jump off of the jump heavy punch Oki stuff, I would recommend learning it. It's it's just kind of getting used to timing so you can land on them with a jump light punch that does a tier. It's, it's mainly timing. Yada yada yada. Um, the robo just felt like it needed a little more time. You had combos, which is great. It was sick. 
Um, the one, the, especially for the Robo, and uh, the one thing I I will say that I would like to see later later down the line is, um, uh, especially for like something like pain, like dealing with pain wheel and stuff like that, and even Bayo, or what, regardless, is just setting up more of a zoning pattern because she can definitely. Uh, as as you've seen, she could definitely fly up to the sky and the top right of the screen and be like beam and beam, and you're you're already like, and you're you're definitely dealing a lot of chip to them, and they're and they're having to they're having more having to catch you than anything else. So like, so you don't you, there's no real no real need to or you don't necessarily need to always be aggressive, but you can also play the zoning game as well too. So it's 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 definitely things like that as well to learn. And just. Uh, for Robo, I would definitely say biggest things to look out for are actively thinking about the space you're using and when you have time to do games. So if you if if you want like a case study in, is my Robo safe? Am I safe to beam, or can I just or like do I need to run away? <laughs> Watch Cat Pie. This man is a nuisance. Uh... He he knows <laughs> how to keep his Robo safe, and it is infuriating. There's a couple good sets on for CB for Frosty to watch of his. I would highly recommend if you're looking to no, what's, what's the name? No, don't 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 watch Cap. I watch Bongus sixty seven, <laughs> the legendary warrior. <laughs> Bongus. Bongus sixty seven. On the oh other hand, man, that that robo is unstoppable. <laughs> But I think um, Annie. I think what I think the Annie still looks looks like it still needs some development time. Yeah, I mean the Annie needs a little bit. It was definitely looking there. There was a couple looking there, getting there. There was a couple of dropped combos. You're learning a character. It's gonna happen. Um, I do honestly really like the up forward over them air dash back jump heavy punch on wake up. Just keep in mind it shouldn't be your only option. It looks like you defaulted a little bit too much and it can get exploded by mashing, but. It's it's a good I, I do that on fortune, etc. The the other thing as well too, which I am not sure if this is something that you also know as well, Tay, especially when you're comboing into I, I could be wrong, I could be misleading information. That's why we have dry dry on uh, in chat. Especially when you do like say the die kicks, you can switch the angles of it during after the first hit. So that way you can make sure you're you're getting the correct confirm. So that way, one if you do try to go for all three, uh, go all three or all two, you you have you're at a more better correct angle, and you can actually get get that down properly. So that way, they don't some accidentally drop out and such. Yep. Um. Yeah. And I think that covers just about everything for Tay Soup. To address your question, um, we didn't actually focus all that much on round starts. So, round start for Para v Bayo is honestly volatile as hell <laughs> one person is happy and one person's crying in the club so the one round start that stuck out to me was the one you opted for a round start stand heavy punch which uh ask dry that question tay dry are you down to give an advanced test um correct me if i'm wrong ruby but bayo stand heavy punch while it's a big button, it's slow and it's not a great option for round start because a lot of other things kind of just dink you for it. Yeah, so like we so said, it lost or like we saw it lost tub parasol, jump light punch, up forward, jump light punch, up heavy punch. Um Yeah, and especially the the main uh, the main thing as well too, which haha, I love my character, is that especially with a uh, sending heavy punch, you only got your one frame of hit, so you're <laughs> you're 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 not active for that long to try to get the hit on them. If anything, if you're gonna do any of your heavy punches, I would say it's just better just doing two, uh, uh, two uh two HP since that one's a little bit more uh, one of your other disjoints as well too, Isn't and you can probably and or, sorry, go ahead. keep going. Uh, you can oh <laughs> <laughs> just go 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 yeah no two HP at least that way you can also kind of conf... like if you do notice that you do get the head you can do tear throw and then start you can do and then you can get the follow up with backdrop and I and if I remember correctly you're running pillar so you can definitely get you can definitely get uh you can definitely get a pickup afterwards too you get you only get build one bar of hype and yeah. from there. But the other thing as well too, which is the other big meme, uh, you you since her her standing jab, her standing jab is always gonna be reaching you for how thick Beowulf is, 
if you really want to call it, call it out that they're gonna do jab or something like that, you can just round start arm in. Already, you're you're back. You're already in the better situations. Granted, you'll you'll have no you'll have no meter, but you already got the corner push and things uh, and everything to yeah. that matter. And so, so, I would. Do you disagree with the statement, Ruby? I thought Bale had some of the stronger round start in the game. Uh, against Para? No, so not against Para, because Para has even stronger round start. But yeah, that's what, general, that's what I'm saying. Just, just in, in general. In general, I I think he's pre he he can get into your face really really. He does a pretty good job of round start. He can get into your face really quickly. But it's definitely like, uh, of course, the mind game of what's the round star gonna be is always gonna be the so, same. But he definitely does get. I would, I would definitely say that he can get in. He he can definitely start the aggression pretty well. Yeah. Like, so it's if like, you... oh, you stay there to uh, the hop, uh, the hop forward, overheads, whether it be the knees or the or the, his what is it, his thirteen frame like yeah. jump scare. It's... It's it's already pretty good, and you're already getting getting the party started. So yeah, you you have a couple of options for like thinking about Bayo v para there there are a couple of different options a lot of them are either of them like to do for round start so Bayo fairly common round start options are to heavy punch or sweep as like reaching pokes just to catch someone out uh hop dash jump light punch or jump light kick just because it's a round start overhead that's honestly really quick um chair toss as kind of a more all-in option, arm as like the most all-in option. Or if you really want to meme, you can also do round start air wolf catch her up back, and then yeah. you get the hard knockdown. You get the hard knockdown, and then you're already you've got your one bar of hype, yeah. and you're already putting them in the situation. And you obviously also have any of the really safe options, so like dash back, do nothing, up back, and call assist. But that's if you're in a matchup, you feel comfortable like calling an assist, getting hype, and then trying to spend afterwards. But if you want to be the aggressor, I would recommend one of the other options. And then on the parasol side, she has a couple different things she can do. So we saw Tay do dash jump, jump light punch, jump heavy punch. That's a really aggressive option that can get checked by options like pillar or uh, etc even what or not pillar h toss okay. sorry um she has jab because that reaches but you need to keep in mind parasol jab if she hits you she has to just go into if you block it she has to go into a low otherwise like or if she has to go into a medium if she doesn't you can literally just it's a half os just it's not even a half OS. You can just mash check her, and so it's either a true block string, or she gets hit because she's her, the frame data on her jab is so bad. Minus nine. Um. Actually, wait. So it's how many misses is on block? I could be. I have the wiki. Let me see. Yeah, no, I'm I'm pulling it up right now, because Bayo arm is six frames, right? Uh, do you remember I'll check, uh, you can check you can check okay. para <laughs> para is minus six on this book. uh start up yeah start it start up six frames so i don't know what the plus four okay is. so um, on hit you can do that on block you can't quite do it um but keep in mind if she forces you to block jab it's either your tor turn or she's keeping you in a true block string and you can just push block her back start fighting for space that way um and obviously stuff like arm and h toss also beat jab start so if you if they're doing that a lot if they're contesting a lot with jab think of that as an option the other parasol options are two medium punch and then they are much more willing to opt into the safe round starts so neutral hop button up back button dash back button do nothing call assist and just react to you and so or up forward throw is another really aggressive option that's kind of the alternative top forward jump light punch and so you're kind of just weighing all of these things in your head and going what are th like especially after you've been playing a couple more games you're thinking about what have they been doing what option can i choose that beats the majority of options they're choosing so like if i'm a parasol and i'm opting oftentimes to do round start jab or round start up forward jump light punch you're going okay 
they're likely going to pick one of these two options. So more likely than not, round start DP is not an awful option, especially because the risk of it on block is you are chairless, but you're still plus. And so you call an assist and you follow up behind it. Um, and so that's kind of how you want to start thinking about round starts. Yeah, it's it's what as what the kids would say. You got a lot of yomi. Yep, and that that is definitely one of the more like. <laughs> it's it's a kind of volatile round start because one person's happy, one person goes. Eh, I don't like this. It, it's you. It's really the mental stack of all right. What are they gonna do? And then and then it's whether or not. So like, in, in, especially for Bayos, like, oh, did he get, did he get, did he win the round start? All right, let's go get this momentum going in. And, and Paris was put in the situation, and then if Bayo doesn't get, it doesn't win the round start. Well, guess I'm working my way in. <laughs> but yeah, I am. Um, yeah, but I think that's good. I'll wait a sec to wait for Dry's response. Um, I will continue to answer questions and chat. Yeah. So, tips for pain wheel. It's. Uh, what do you, you know, know anything I... about Carol? <laughs> so, like, I, I think about Carol in a very particular way, which is not necessarily a fun way to play her. Which is, you you play pain wheel to have control of the game. So, like, if you you're basically banking on getting the first hit in neutral with a point character, DHing into her getting the life lead and then literally just saying I control the pace of the game now. That is my okay. personal view of how pain wheel should be played. If you want other advice, I would definitely ping very or softy. I don't know if Rat Baby's on the server, but there are a couple of pain wheel players who know her much better than I do that would likely be able to give you a whole lot better advice. Yeah, I, th I think who well, yeah, there's some... There's no way that Mao has played pain wheel, right? Mao has. Mal has Ma Mal, uh, Mal labbed a lot of pain wheel with very just for memes. Lamal. I think Kangi's also in. Uh, Kangi should also be in. Oh yeah, Kangi. So. My brain completely blanked. Thank you. <laughs> Kangi's another yeah. good name. Yeah, but yeah, I def, I def, I think if anything, and as well too, since since especially when you have someone like Pain Wheel as. With the safety with the safety hc option don't you also do have the option of oh I'm, I'm stuck in a situation i'm about to i'm about to let me do arm and then if i'm wrong all right at least i got my safety hc so it's not all too bad yeah, also, hi jp jp added some more good names pme is a great resource and he's so nice like just ask him and he'll gladly show you the world <laughs> like I don't, also, I don't think we could ask Chuck is uh, at the moment as well too. <laughs> Feels bad, man. You're you're all good, JP. You're figuring stuff out. Unless J no, what we're gonna do it right now is JP is definitely gonna do the advanced tests in their new uh, PC setup. <laughs> I I am also dealing with uh, computer settings, but on a lesser degree because my. Uh, my mic is new, and my whole setup is uh, scuffed again. But I no longer get to bomb your ears with me laughing and breathing into my mic. I got a um, brain hyper. You got a brain? <laughs> I got a, I got a quadcast X S hyper X quadcast S. There we go. I got a brain. No, that is false. I'm still the dunce. <laughs> I'm still a tree. <laughs> yeah, I I was... It was a USB mic. I was like, eh, but I've heard good things, and it keeps things simple, so... It works. That's pretty good. Bell purchase in this day. So, it's a significant... Um, it is a significant upgrade for my old mic. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I came in and I'm like, there's no way this is done. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, you, you've seen me in person, so you kind of understand. Yeah, no, it, it, it's just funny because, yeah, because in your other mic, I, I'm like, uh, uh, you, it, it, and uh, at least now with your new mic, it's definitely a lot crisp and cleaner, so I'm like, should I? <laughs> yeah, no. 
Yeah, I need I need soundproofing. I've definitely heard on a, from multiple people there's at least a little bit of echo, which might just I think it's gonna be an issue until I get into a new room, because I don't think I'm gonna invest in uh, head curtains. <laughs> I mean, I mean, at least for at least for my mic, it's not too bad to get like the uh, the mic sock and things like that. Yeah, no, I'd rather because I. Cause I I'm still on job search, et cetera, and I don't know where I'm going to be living. So I'm just like, I'm going to try and not complicate things until... God dang it, Dry. Yeah, okay, Tay. Dry's good to run the test. <laughs> I don't know how long they'll be to get here, but... We got an advanced promo go off. All right. Lamau. Um, Lamau. B. Well, waiting for that. Oh! Unless? <laughs> Unless? So how long will it take me, huh? I think it was how long would it take you to get here. <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, Soup. It must be done. We gotta create space for the, the boy. Some stream. Wait, why did... Oh, race account, yeah. Is it on stream or nah? I believe so, yeah. It's on stream. I don't know. Does Tay want it streamed? I'm pretty sure, yeah. They said so on the form. And it sounded like they were asking if it was going to happen at the end of the stream, so. Oh, so they're, okay, they're back in the lobby. I will yeah. I will be here as a commentator and not as a, as a supporter. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Cause I'm not one to be uh, the advice of like that. Oh, hey, this is the you one say the after players. helping for the entirety advice. Okay, let me, let, let me rephrase that. I am not the the person to be like, hey, here's the criteria for it, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's different. But I will. I gotta meet first. I will be right back. I'm. I'm play a Eliza for this. I mean, you gotta play your. You gotta play like you would like it's a tournament. That's the whole point. Oh, like it's you're playing your like you like your strongest team. I mean, just I, I would say, argue I, all of your teams are gonna be relatively close to strength, but yeah. Yeah, JP. J, I mean, JP's cool. here is is watching. The 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 real examiner is making sure that the other examiners are doing their job. It's, I it's guess the, I could pull up. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the uh, advisor in the back of the classroom to. watching the teacher. Yeah, I'll just run beat extend. I definitely, I definitely would have. For me, it definitely would have depend on what's the match, what's the match if I pick Brass or A Train. I'll just run beat extend and see what happens. Boy, all right. Oh, this is oh, frick. He has a <laughs> Zol He has HB. Oh no, <laughs> mistakes have been made. I'm. If only there was a way for you to see what the, what uh assistant they were running, wow. bro. Again? Did we lose right now? No, we need one more three sets. Oh, the high! Now you're dead. Nice, nice blocks. The grippy. I'm guessing an overhead. Oh, <laughs> that was partially right. Three. Wow, I didn't think that reach. I did not think that reach. I thought she was safe. <laughs> Oh, actually, counterhead too. This is a dead character. Yep, yeah, no meter spans. All right, let's see the robots. Oh, that, that I did not expect like, to hit ban. I will not go on the victory over evil because that's just cringe for this. Yo, listen again. It's not, it's not like they're not gonna have to fight against victory over evil. Level one, level five. Beam. That was faster. That was the faster. Yeah, or actually, does it not do more damage when you do beam it, and level it, Yeah, it, it was killer regardless. True, the, the ratio of damage. I'm telling you, I keep looking at your PFP and I'm definitely going to have to start watching Shira. Time. Let's watch it together, it's a fun show. It, it looks like it, it's like what, five seasons or something? No, it's like two, three, not that many. You can, get, you can definitely get through that in like a day. Because I know it's on Netflix, and I have it, so... 
No, I do not want ban 5 MP. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely want him to come out, pull up a trumpet, do nothing, and leave. I am calling Ground Start Beat Extend. Amazing. Alright, back up. Setting up shot. Alright. Ooh, no. Oh, we didn't get the conversion. Oh, you didn't oh, get Oh, we also didn't convert as well. Was, that's a big mistake. That was your ticket to winning this. Oh! Oh, oh too far. Counter hit. Oh, drop these. Alright. Party time. Stagger. Oh, that was same side too. Three. And up for no meter. No meter. I don't even know what side I had. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, we missed it. Called out on beat extend. Same. Block. Nice. Oh, uh -oh. nice block on the overhead. Oh, we didn't confirm! Good pressure with the oh. assist. Whoop. What would JP say? Yo, you gotta believe on uh, you gotta believe in your hits, gamer. Are you paying attention right. to my resources? Alright, alright, it's like you're like tournament. Alright. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> alright. Now for a world of her else. Uh oh! Uh oh! oh. The high. Stargate! Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, now it's an even game for the most part. Assuming that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. That's unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. Some pretty good call out with the saw, though. Yeah, that was really nice. I actually thought that, that with the install, it was gonna break the saw. As well, nah, too. If I did like JMP, then maybe. I mean, honestly, you could use sweep more in your game plan and install. True! I forgot a, I forgot my sweep's a double hitting low because I just never use it because I don't ever use install because I don't like being cringe. <laughs> Isn't it also an install that her sweep is also like plus or something? Yes. And, and convert. I am, oh. I, am, I am Little Miss Plus Frames in install. It is the worst <laughs> install in a game I've ever seen, and I hope it gets re reworked. I mean, Dark I and I, rises. I don't. <laughs> At least when Dark Phoenix strong. comes out, like you had the chance to kill her. She has like two health. Uh, yeah, I she do like ABC like magic. You just do magic series on her, but like before she turns into Dark Phoenix, I, I'm. That was same side. I am so sorry. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. And we're losing Para. Yeah. I mean, I personally don't think it's still that strong. Um. But that's me. No, no, I'm like. I think what it offers is strong, but I, I just think the usage, of, like, it's, it's, it feels like it's a very situational super than anything else. I just feel like the way most people use it, it's, it's push block bait. There's PBC bait. It just We're hits. in this again. Do you go for her knockdown? All right. Nothing. All right. I think they were trying to bait something up from Troy. They got the. All right, here we go. Uh, I definitely that, hit 2 think... OP instead of 5 OP. Alright, back it up. Alright, you got 60 uh, you got 60 seconds uh, 65 seconds to work with, so. Oh. Nine. Let's see a robot how you damped. I've seen this before. I feel like I've done something like this back before you know, with Bukula. I do this to I, I've done this to Graham. Oh no, I, I, he grabbed me. I mean, they grabbed me, frick. Oh, what the? <laughs> I, I, no I don't idea. think that's a real thing. That hit me! From that far? Yo, I, that's how I felt fighting Kangi yesterday. So anyway, I endured. I feel there was, there's a little bit of BMS to that. <laughs> no. It worked. I would do that in bracket. Oh, uh, Diego. Ah, uh, air grab. <laughs> Shuckle 2.0. Oh, they have overheads. Mm -hmm. Oh, th I thought that was going to be a throw. I was. Uh, you <laughs> oh, too far. Alright. Almost. 
she got the clue. Oh, my SSJ. I am mucking around too much. Oh, man, it's gone. Uh -huh. Yo, that be done now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, at least the robot was looking nice. At least we got a we got a showcase of it. Yeah, I got to see the robot a little bit. It still is a little, a little fresh, fresh out the grocery store, fresh off the vine, fresh off the market. Just be like, yo, man, just can that I right can I pick apple? <laughs> yo, can I buy me a robo? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Enjoy your robot. Oh, thanks, man. Now, how do I, no, I gotta pull out the instruction books and tell me how, how many of these do we go to? It was 10 straight matches, correct? It's yeah, first, first to 10. ten. First to 10. First to 10, first to 10, first to 10. I'm running to 10. Neow. Neow. Speed run now. I'm gonna jab you. What a jab! <laughs> but I could have sworn that looked like a medium punch. Yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was hitting her. I didn't think Annie was still gonna get picked up like that. Also, for reference, Tay, after you land, cancel the uh, six heavy punch. It was your turn to jab. Rip your, your jab catches them in the startup. Because you chicken blocked it. Rippy. We're in for it now. One more drippy. Nice tag. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be fireball, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, almost got the anti-air. All right, that's a dead Annabelle. And oh, anyway, I can't control it. I lose on five bars. Turn on X Factor now. <laughs> oh, we're in for it now. What's the reset? Oh, you're too high for that. <laughs> Ow! I don't remember what buttons I pressed. Oh my god. I I really don't think I should be using it in Saul for these, but holy fuck. PG-12. PG-12. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> it uh, definitely has been a little bit of an issue in previous games and these. Tay overcommits into DP assists pretty hard. It's one thing I've been noticing a good amount. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they've been trying to. You, you want you either. what happened to the A train? You, you know what? We we have had a few games of just that. So have fun guessing once and losing your character if you guess wrong. Uh, is that a Renny? I am now calling round start A train. A. A little too far. All right, spacing. I'm more surprised. Uh, so we saw. We call it. We saw two times. Uh, them called Annie DP assist, and then kind of just watch it do everything, dry respect it, and then Tay not use that respect for anything. No shot. No tear toss. Yeah, nothing. it was just like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> I think it's also where, she, uh, where Tay is calling it as well too, is like, on, in the mid screen like that is like... Like, Dry hasn't shown anything to be like, oh, I'm aggressively getting in and things like that. They're just, they're just, they're just, they're just more patient as to, okay, let me see what you're doing right now. Alright, here we go again. Party mode. Yep, break the armor, you can't saw it, you gotta hold it. I'm plus. No. Nope. All right. We'll see you next game, gamer. Oh, we actually could have bursted. <laughs> we could have bursted. We actually could have bursted there. You had a little bit. You had like a split second to burst right there before Our you actually field. died. You had burst. Yes, it is really OD, and I hate using it, but I have to learn how to use it because bracket. Star power is great if they don't have a invincible reversal. That is what I will yep. say about it. Oh, but as a person with an invincible flash kick, 
I sit there and say, I... you're either respecting this push block or you're letting me PBGC you. Know? I, I, I'm just praying, bro. <laughs> Funny jab. Stand heavy punch there. Swaps her out of the sky. Great Ooh, jab. Nice jab. Oh my god. Oh, good, I jab. Love that. good jab. Check. Oh, about to go for the grip me. Everyone oh, wants to hit Ben. Please. Don't hit Ben. It's a bait, I promise. Oh, that's that's in. Isn't it great that we just literally had someone earlier today in the gig race? <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. Uh -oh. Okay, I don't care. Oh, we set it up wrong. Uh-oh. Snap. Right. Oh, that is so... Ooh! Wow, I'm surprised Ben... Wait, actually no! Ben hand. let you get that combo! I know that situation! I hate it! <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a happy birthday right now. That way too much bar. Ban tank for me real quick. Pretty sure he could anyways. Alright, good luck. Oh, did you not have his birthday then? I think I will say, when Annie is that far away, I'm pretty sure oh. you have time to say, I know you're pressing a button and just raw supering because of the amount of disgusting hit stuff. Again, we could have bursted. The one yeah, thing I will say. Murder. Again, the one thing I will say is, especially for having Para L shot, I don't know why we called her in the corner, especially in a situation like that. Yeah, that, exactly. Like, this is the reason why I don't want to use Star Power for determining these. Is like, actively just so broke. Well, to be fair, I am saving Star Power for, like, your literal final character. Yeah, that's that's honestly, like, the big thing. It's just like, yeah. Like, regardless, I'm still getting down the road. But I, I'll do, like, the rest of the matches without it. And besides, it, it's... It, and besides, the one thing, Tay, is that... In, in a real scenario situation, this is something that you're also going to have to you're going to have to deal with as well, too. So there are some players that do use it and then you'll play someone like Zali and then it's like, oh, time to meter dump because I have all the all it is and you have your last character. Good luck. <laughs> and again, it's not an absolute checkmate scenario. Um, you can start push blocking her away. As I said earlier, I'm pretty sure you have enough time unless dry is like really paying attention to it um stargate when they're committing to something silly just to get stars out you can get stingered for it but it is something to try and just reaction check someone because if they're not ready for it if they're expecting you to down back like you have them they might just say oh crap i didn't think they were going to do anything and you just bought yourself time to get out of the corner all right all right kind of the one thing I, I will oh, you're say giving that... me a lot of fucking respect. Oh no. Yeah, there. I opened a... my mouth. Don, so I don't know how uh, about you, but especially when it comes to like uh, the any the any H uh, H cut, I'm sure I'm sure like you you can still like do use the fire. All right, you just show me what you got. I'm in the corner. Your stinger bait. And you jump. So. Because the projectiles flash, you can use the shot to contest it, and then you also have a tear in the screen in front hey, of yo, you protected. that you can uh, detonate with like crack medium punch etc as well as uh emigrant Ooh, also a good option whippy all right how do we get how do we get parasol out ow all right nice and we're back in the situation oh we we definitely were pressing something I, I would have been so mad if that actually crossed off. I would have been like, you know what, Dunn, so you're, you're, you're stuck with dry. I'm out of here. <laughs> That's good. Taunt up. Alright, now. Close the space. Air grippy. Oh, that was... I did not want that. I wanted to I, I do not know what that's supposed to be. Let me wave dash. Oh, no. Man. Let me do the wave dash and fix bed. Oh! Oh, yep. Return to start. All right. Bimu. Oh, okay. Build head. Okay. Well, okay. Now we're losing. 
That is actually a fair point. Granted, the Strobo has been stuck in the corner versus any install for a lot of the games, but we have not seen the Strobo get very many heads. Well, I mean, the one thing, well, the one thing as well, too, especially after Beam, I don't see the reason why we're building ahead as well. I mean, what is Ban, what is, what is Ban really going to do against, like, the, uh, against, like, the Beams? Like, it, it felt like that was, that was an opportunity to go ahead and start setting up the zoning. Or maybe that's just me. Phil from here on forward, I should not ever use install in an advanced test because that is just actively a what the fuck am I supposed to do situation. Also, yes, yeah, PG twelve. That's okay. You know what? Can I can I ask that for JP if I if I ever have to uh, have to do a test again? Be like, hey JP, can you not do the uh do the uh, gun plus drill? I don't. I okay, can't. No, to... <laughs> you can do something about that. Any is a little questionable. Uh, well, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it, it's it's a relevant enough thing that I think it's at least something you should check to see if they know how to deal with. Uh, but well, you, you see, now we know, so I'm not doing it again. Yeah, uh, let's I, mean, I am imagining. Yes, those do something about an Adevans, though. I mean, it's not like it's end all be all. Yeah, you're um, uh, like true. obviously, you're gonna, you're, obviously you're gonna be you put in a broken situation. One thing I want Tay to consider a little bit is possibly changing the team order. And this is oh no, not necessarily a now thing, but. No, I'm trying I to would, push you away so I can see if you know what to do. I would honestly think that, um... Robo point, or maybe even any point, might be slightly more beneficial. I tapped down for a frame. I'm sad. Alright, cool. Uh, how, do you, how do you win an advantage? Show me. Alright. Now the robbery character. I have Spark Switch. Pick up. Oh, nice. Nice law. Nice law. No, my grab! I didn't even get it! <laughs> really good job contesting space, though. Oh, counter hit. I'm trying to do 2 LP it. This should be a dead ending, right? Oh, nice. Yo, where's Catfight? Nice. Catfight would've got mad at me if I tried to do that combo. I don't care. Oh, zombies. I don't recommend moving forward to Big Ben while you have an advantage, but... Unless uh, the other me? He does, has five meter now? <laughs> does L Danger beat Ban Jump Lightning? I'm spending three bar to keep you in the corner, yes. <laughs> I would assume so, yeah, because he yeah. has headed one. I thought, I thought so too, I was just making sure. Because that would have actually I, won the interaction there. Because I think at worst it could, it's going to want trade. No burst. Uh oh. And we're done. Robbery. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I mean, it, 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 at worst, it would trade. It would trade in what her favor. I don't think that's a trade that Ban wins, anyways. If she, if for if, if for Robo L Danger and that. And again, this is kind of going back to a thing we mentioned during the actual get creep. You could have forced Ban to approach there, but because of your tendency for violence, you kept yep. approaching him and putting yourself in a whole lot of danger. Because Ban went in range. If he gets a combo, he kind of just goes. Party mode, and especially like you, you do not want to go go against the uh, approach uh, a big band with like so much bar. <laughs> and and like being in dual ratio, yeah, you're gonna kiss that character goodbye. <laughs> Build the meter. Uh, we were trying to 2LP something. <laughs> Hello? And should be dead. Oh my god. Unnecessary. Oh, the cross under low. Oh. No, do it again. It just trust me, it'll work this time. Oh, you know, not we, we press the button. Don't do it. Don't do don't it. Do don't it. Do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. I I like it was the minute the stagger happens, it, it threw the freaking. I I saw yeah the install and I just knew.
I, I, I was like, no, there's no way you want to do it, right? I mean, I thought, I thought it was genuinely that that bad that it wouldn't kill. I thought that sliver of life was gonna stay there. I'm not gonna lie, that's super. Doesn't super matter. Bad. I had a stagger and another string. So I'm wait, like, you still got a combo after hell? Ferdo Ball? Yeah, it staggers. It breaks a no double step. Oh, but you already used it. Breaks the a stagger, stagger rule. No, it breaks oh, a stagger break rule. Stagger? Literally, oh. yes. For whatever oh. reason. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna let you zone for a little bit. How do you zone me? Come on. Come on. Why are Shut you going shop. in? Zone me. Where's the beam? <laughs> With the zoning. Yeah, where's your I mean, zoning? You have H beam. Kill me. Put I mean, me. I think we've already established hug. there. You can play an aggressive parasol. Like, I don't play a zoning. So. Okay, but like, this is weird. Like, nothing's happening. Yeah. There we go. Beam! Not this does. Baikai, Eltos, all kind of shut down her sweep approaches, etc. Those are things was to be Den considering. Was Deadnate also uh, defeated too, or no? Oh, first base. Uh, if you have all a right. tier on her, but she oh, can I did also not... get low. She can get low enough to low profile the tier. That must sweep, be. I'm pretty sure. I did not get my second stand heavy punch. I'm sad. I'm pretty sure. What is it? The, the quote unquote safe one for Annie is like what? Do beam? If you're gonna do she out like that. Nope, you just die. No, 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 from like bikes, like going from bikes into panty. Nah, you just die. Yeah. <laughs> she has like one safe DHC for and that's two, level three. Technically, level three and level one if you're like at a good distance. Oh, I tried to grab it before that went off. But, that, but that's what I'm saying, like, it, because it was I bikes. should have fucking murdered you. Digits! <laughs> Listen, while I critique others, I critique myself, and I should have killed you and won the game. Wait, are you paying attention to what my resources are? Oh, they have four bars that your that your sister's A train. Oh, okay. Yay, they know! I think the funnier thing is that you went for it immediately afterwards. Alright, where's the reset? Yep, should be dead now. Oh my god, I didn't think that was gonna. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go into the jab for the kill. I didn't think that that itself was gonna kill myself. And I quote, gender swapped Bayo Man. Dude, I'm playing an outdated version of, of this team, bro. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I really don't think I should have used star power for many of those. That many of those. I really don't. I don't know. I think. The, the struggle with star power was the fact that Robo was anchor, which is why I said the thing I did about team order. Um, yeah, if you put Robo point, that would have been a lot more annoying. Yeah, it's just because Robo already struggles anchor without resources behind her, but she, like because even... she does not have an invuln DP, really struggles to deal with star power. Yeah, there's has... also not much usage of the eight, the oppressive HP misses. Like, it was there a couple of times, but, like, not as much as it should have been. Yeah, that's that's the one thing as well, too. Like, especially, like, because it's Anchor, Robo, and things like that. It's it's definitely, like, yeah, she has no reversal, a real quote-unquote reversal okay. options because it's just, it's just yeah, it's just H-Saw, and that's about it. And okay. that only has, like, the... Well, so based on Tay saying it's fake anchor, I'm assuming the plan is to get the hit DHC into Annie and then play Annie Robo Para, which is a much better team order in my opinion. And so I can I can see that plan, and I can just I will definitely say it's a lot more risky than just playing Annie Point, like starting in that order, because as we saw, if stuff happens, your Robo is going to have to hold that. Um, yeah. Other than that. Especially, like we saw at the end, the the game plan is just really one note. It doesn't feel like you're comfy doing anything other than running forward. And you're pretty good at that on Parasol because you, you put a ton of time into the character. But the one thing you're struggling to do is use your assist to facilitate it, which I want to say is partially because of how often you're changing your assists uh you're not used to one single way of covering them. yourself and so you're kind of just experimenting trying to figure it out as you go so like when the parasol was zoning or even when the parasol was approaching there wasn't all that often a beam behind it to cover her make her approach safer just 
force pressure on the opponent. Um, even on defense, or even if you were going defense and even setting up those, like throwing out the shots as well too, you can even set up beam like that as well too. Yeah. And then one thing I will so say about star power is sitting in the corner and doing nothing is not going to get you in. If you want to fight for space, you don't necessarily need to walk into range of getting hit by the buttons, but if they're doing like stand heavy kick or if they're doing jump heavy kick and sending stars at you, you can actively run into them, push block the Annie away, and start fighting for space that way because you're actively shoving the Annie away from you. And then she needs to spend time to get close to you. And then you could either be patient again, wait for it again, just slowly push block her out, or you can say you're going to overextend trying to cut back, cut off this distance again and then like use a robo sweep, etc. Because that just catches people running at you recklessly. Um, so on and so forth. The... The, the, the doing nothing, trying nothing, and just sitting there saying, well, I guess I die now. Yeah, you are going to die because you're not doing anything. Um, the I mean, the, the other thing I do want to include as well, too, and I don't know if this, I, I don't know how much more possible it is, especially with star powers. Like, even, even if they do activate it, even if they do activate it, just you being able, just trying to take, take the space back, and especially with how, with how, how mobile Robo can be. You can definitely like, uh, I don't, I'm done. So correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if even if you put uh, like you can PBGC up forward and then you can helicopter all, your way out of the uh, like up up forward so that way at least you're up in the sky. You can throw out some beams to try to keep yourself in the air and <clears throat> and and at least you'll start getting getting her stuff to drain. And then that's also gonna make and that and then it, it puts dry to and, and parts to think. All right. Do I still keep letting this thing rock? Do I? How much more meter am I gonna am I gonna use just to keep it going? Things like that. Like the main, the uh, like it, obviously once you're already put into the situation, it's a little bit harder as well too. But it's also thinking about the consideration as to okay, because star power is draining meter, and because each button drain each button that they press also um, drains their meter faster. They, you have to you really have to it, it, it's more and especially because robo can be it can be mobile to keep her away it it, it it does have to make dry it does have to make dry think okay do i just uh uninstall now or do i keep it going things like that i mean so brain one thing i will say is um, you say you tried options, which you did, and so like you saw Saw worked, you kept doing it, and then it eventually started getting stuff because it was predictable. You tried to fight back for your turn aggressively. I don't. If you did, and I'm, uh, and I'm missing it, I apologize. But th there's more ways to beat something than to stop it before it happens. Um, and so you you're trying to like actively contest things. And so when I say, uh, like, I, I walked through how I would approach trying to get through star power at that point, which is a much more defensive, yes, you're going to be eating chip, but you're slowly working your way out of the corner because you're keeping yourself safe, you're blocking. You will explode if you're trying to always contest things with an aggressive option, with an option that puts you at risk. Um, and that's not to say... Um, the defensive option is always going to be the good one. It's just, I don't think you considered everything, and I think you might be oriented a little bit more towards one thought process, process than the other. But because you can't think of an option doesn't mean it does not exist. And also to add in as well, and I know this is the thing that that's always going to keep getting repeated as well too, but, uh, but benefit of the doubt, because of how, still how fresh Annie and Robo are, you don't know what other options Robo can can do as well too. So that way, it's just like it's like oh, this is the only this is only the one option that I know. It's like no, because we're not familiar with the character, we don't know. It, it's also knowing okay, maybe I could try going for X uh, for this in this situation, or maybe I can try we can try doing this in another situation, things like that as well too. So it's it's definitely like it again more famili familiarity. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna say this as more of, like, a tough love sort of thing. I think, like, um, figure out whatever team you want. I genuinely think your biggest issue is you need to learn 
how to learn. So wh what I mean by that is you're, you're willing to ask questions, you're willing to get information, but we, we, we give you advice that's related to one scenario and then you kind of try and apply it to that and then other things. But once you commit to that as your one and only option and it gets checked, you went, well, this doesn't quite work. Um, Time to switch to something else. Oh, it, or yeah, or it's like, I need another option. Whereas fighting games in general, there's never going to be one, one answer beats all. It's a very fluid thing where this goes back to the conversation we had a while ago where it's like, um, you can have a good solid game plan, but it needs to be adaptable because if you constantly select the same two or three items, they will select the option that either trades or ends in their favor versus the majority of those options. And so it kind of needs to be like a rotating door of different things you can choose that will check their different ways to adapt to what you're doing. And, and then going back to, um, I want you to learn how to learn you are willing to ask questions. Um, one thing I one thing I want to recommend you try to do is, and I, I will hold you to this when you ask me questions, is when you ask us a question, walk us through your mindset first. And so it's like, I, I'm struggling to deal with this and I think it's really oppressive and I can't figure out how to beat it. My thoughts were, I've been doing X, Y, and Z to deal with it, but it hasn't been effective. Um, and so you're trying to apply critical thinking to it before you come to us. And so you already have a base of your opinions on it to build upon when you're asking us for questions. Um, because it, it feels a little bit like you just see a problem and you immediately go, I can't figure out an answer, so I want someone to tell me what it is. Where one of the most important things you can do for yourself is figure out the answer yourself. And then once you run into a much stronger issue that you can't quite figure out. You've already thought about it. You have your own opinions. You can apply someone else's thought process to yours and see if that opens up something else. Yeah, which is like, and to kind of add on, well, to, it, 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 that's the thing, especially like um, when it comes to the learning process, you look at like when you do, even doing VOD review for yourself is pretty good before you start asking other people because you want to look at it yourself and, and 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 it's especially going to be a lot harder when you're looking at your losses as well too like don't get me wrong that that stuff really does stink like you're looking at your losses and things like that but at the same time you have to look at that look at them and then it's like all right what and this uh, i this is what i did in this scenario why did i oh, this is what like does the same this is what i thought but is is there a better was there a better answer to this or was it that oh no this the option that my opponent picked was it, it would have covered even x scenario and even after you thought about it and you're still confused then it's like yeah you can always ask things like that of me of me dunce dry jp all the other uh, players that, that are around it and it's and we can answer to the best uh, the best of our abilities to to, uh, to help out so that way and and, uh, and and if you do encounter that scenario you know okay i'll try going for this like um if you want a real life a real life example of me playing against swift and sgcs i i got peacock peacock did uh dp lenny i do bella 360 i didn't think that my 360 would have would have covered all the way through for uh would have covered lenny or such and she would be fine and i would be put in the situation i do ssh to ban and then i got smoked which until I asked Mao or some of the other players, it was like, yeah, no, you definitely could have held that. They could have still got in. You, they still would, Peacock would have get the damage from Lenny only, and you're still keeping the corner. You keep advantage situation. Yada yada yada. Yeah. And to talk about your point, yeah, Skullgirls definitely is a game, especially if you're playing. Like you, you insist on your. I'm not gonna say insist, but you like seeking out really high level players and then asking them for sets. The one issue is this is going to be what happens. It's the same thing when I play um, players like Cloud, etc. It's like the majority of neutral interactions I will lose. And I need to figure out why that is, but I only get to do that in very slow bits and pieces just because 
their like scope of understanding is that much higher that they're likely just gonna win those scenarios um so you can still glean things from it it's just you're gonna be much more learning about the defensive aspect of your game although on that point also getting hit or being forced to block because the option you chose didn't work is still knowledge you gained you went oh crap this loses so um, for example I, I had a game against Hydra where all of a sudden he just started doing up forward belly jump light punch and it straight up beats Parasol up forward jump light punch and I went I had no idea this happened and Hydra did it to me like four times and I went okay I can't do this anymore. <laughs> um, sometimes you just get checked with things you weren't aware of and you're like okay mental note this is illegal uh, etc. And so it, it's definitely a brutal way to learn the game and I would suggest while searching out good players as a good habit, also just having fun and like friendly lobbies, etc. And I know you've got TBC for that. Um, yeah, no, I feel that Tay. And I think you need to, it's hard to find a happy medium. Um, maybe I would suggest diversify a little bit the pools of players you're playing with. Cause I definitely know you reach out for games for like JP and Dry, etc. And then you also hang out with TBC, but there's definitely a middle ground that isn't quite covered besides maybe like BBP in a lot of those groups. Um, yeah, BBP, Sean and so, Yeah, th that's sort that. of the deal. So you have some people there to play with, and I would re definitely recommend trying to find more people at that level where it's kind of like an even sparring match where y'all are both just slugging each other because <laughs> Skullgirls is Skullgirls. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a killing yeah. game. I mean, like, even before I came here, I fought Gelato, and it was just like, I... In some cases, I was just like, okay, I did good, and in some cases, man, this, this is a wash! <laughs> but it's definitely like, but it's definitely like, you know, I even I still ask them advice, because I'm like, hey, you know what? I There, there are some things that I still don't understand. What can, What is it that I can necessarily do better? She told me, she gave me some advice, and they get thinking things uh having to uh, and which makes me now uh, help, helps me now okay i gotta actively think more about my push blocks and other things to consider at uh, going into bayo versus uh para matchup as well too where it's like to me para <laughs> going against para and as of late i've been like bro she's always there i'm i i she's i'm always in her range hold that yeah <laughs> But yeah, I, I know we've definitely said a lot and covered a lot. And you, I mean, to be, you had questions you wanted answered. That's more than fine. And, um, I'm not going to speak for dry. I would say uh, it's a no from me. And part of it's just because you're not very familiar with two thirds of your team. Like, that, that's the initial thing that kind of stops you from considering much else. Um, I just, you didn't feel comfy. And as, an as, a, as, a, as a watcher, I, I also agree with that because it's, it definitely just feels like, yeah, I, um, it's all bankrolling on my, uh, my para does the thing and I just do, I just do the, uh, the, the Twitter combo and Bombo and then it's like oh now watch uh, watch and repeat As, instead of like when you're put in situations I'm like it, it seems like uh what do I do I don't I uh 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 and then it's like well it's because we're unfamiliar <laughs> but you um I don't know if Dry died but I'm just trying huh? Hello. Hello. I went to go get water and then oh, I like I sat see. down and just like looked over on my other monitor and just kind of like fell out of reality. My bad. You're good. Yeah, no. Dry is up? definitely intimidating and that team prints damage, so it's really easy to get scared. It's just I I will continuously say this about Skullgirls, and this is not say like completely disrespect your opponents and mash on them always because um obviously that's also abusable it's just getting afraid in this game like having your opponent in your head and being afraid to contest anything at all is where you just lose the game immediately 
because that allows everyone to just twerk all over you. Oh, the amount of be. options, like people, people's options grow exponentially when you stop contesting them. It's like Parasol, half her mix can just be jabbed. Like straight up, all of her overheads are so slow. People what's, can jab or mash them, etc. And so it's kind of one of those things where it's easy to get scared, but getting scared is one of the worst things you can possibly do. Because once you stop doing anything is when danger zones just... <laughs> it, it's, what's the, what's the, it's a big issue. What's the meme again that 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 comes to Juice and it's like, Philly is like, yeah, no, Philly is on you and scary. And then Juice, and then Juice will say like, Bro, just jab her. It stops everything. And then I mean, you do it, and it's like, oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. But, um. Not that scary. Well, yeah. what was the question I was asked before, like, we go farther than this? How how close was she? Oh, yeah, no, they need more work. Yeah, I mean, both of us kind they of were just not said, familiar with. Yep. That's exactly like, what we said. Of an entire team. That is exactly what we said. Did not take advantage of me respecting the DP assist just being there. Um, and then you didn't use beam assist to assert any form of safety with yeah. for para to just go on like try to hit me so like i just kind of like walked at you and then you backed up and then i walked at you and then you backed up and then you died i mean we're that's like you're you're not familiar with two-thirds of your team yeah it's gonna take a good chunk of work to get comfortable it's, with those characters that's a good chunk of yeah it's a good lot of work I can't, I can't fully say that. Like, yeah, you could probably, you could have a higher skill level than you really do. It doesn't matter if you don't know what your team or your your characters do. Yeah. But yeah, so like, overall, I can't just not lies in front of man only, and then just be like, all right, I I learned a wiki combo. All right, let's play your tournament now. But um, we we have said a lot. We've talked a lot. Um, I, I I'll explain it to you a little bit later. But yeah, I, the I, I the thing stream long. I definitely want to just say it as like an ending message, which is one thing I was glad to see when you were talking about playing with Dan Mist. At the end of the day, um, improvement is good, but I, I want you to try and make sure you're still enjoying the game. So finding people like Dan Mist, you really just like playing because it's a slugfest and everything's just hilarious. Um, just, just try and keep the experience enjoyable. <laughs> Yeah, honestly don't play me all the time i'm gonna be i'm gonna do shit dry <laughs> is so bad at playing for i fun. am not a good teacher i'm sorry i will just kill you dry I'm, I'm, dry I'm, has I'm, no training wheels dry murders <laughs> i am the definition of i'm gonna throw you into the deep end until you cry yeah and so i mean as long as you're having fun 100 percent. it's just that that is my kind of final tidbit stream has been going on for until fortune take. Well, I'm gonna take the head off. That's the fun part of the character. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what's the what's what's the other joke again? Jab, jab, and then you do the uh, the the heel kick, and it's like, yeah, just jab, yeah, just jab me, and just axe kick me. I'll die. <laughs> Straight up, Dry doesn't block this. I, I can't say with experience, Dry does not block this. I definitely do not block those. Those are unblockable. You can't tell me. Yeah, that's honest. unblockable. I'm like, oh hey, heal. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, it's jab, jab, I'm ex and it's like, I'm down back, and then all of a sudden they do it again, I'm like, bro, I, yo, it's just like, you can react to it, I cannot react to this, it's unlockable, <laughs> you can't tell me otherwise. Yeah, oh, yeah. Can't wait oh for my, you to eventually, like, murder me for PG-12. I just saw the I'm street. still waiting. I'm, I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that lobby right now, oh my god. Keep up, keep up the grind today. I, like right, if they if they want to shoot me. for that if they want to shoot for that go for it just you keep be, in you mind make a request to play me again in two weeks yeah. otherwise i'm gonna hunt you down just just keep in mind and i will keep using star power what i said about um working on how to learn because that and enjoying the game i think are your two biggest um issues currently because i mean you're you've gotten relatively solid on a lot of the characters you've know a good chunk about the game i think it's just kind of putting it all together but you got this you got this you definitely got this but on that note i think it is time to shut down the stream appreciate all y'all for showing up and ruby for helping and dry for doing the for testy test. test thingy thing thing thing
Thank you. Yeah, guys. I, I I pressed buttons. I'm contributing to the stream. I I'm did, helping. I did the thing. I'm helping. Good, but I'm yeah. helping. Um, have a good night, everybody. Take care, y'all. Have a good one. Goodbye.